So, Dr. Dardis, how do we see this happen? So, uh, here we, we're going to go back to the definitions of uh, early onset versus late onset. So, okay. uh, with the early onset sepsis, mainly this is an infection that babies get from their mothers, and we call this vertical transmission. So, uh, basically, uh, it is a contaminated amniotic fluid that ascends to uh, uh, to the baby and causes infection. Mm -hmm. And usually this is because of uh, a leak in the amniotic fluid. So the bacteria from the birth canal of the mother gets into the amniotic fluid around the baby and the baby is bathing in that. Th so it gets Ooh. to the lungs, it gets to the bloodstream mm -hmm. and it causes the infection. So this is uh, mainly uh, the, um, uh, the, the cause early for onset. early onset. Right. Now the late onset uh, sepsis, there's also vertical uh, transmission, however it's a different mechanism. Uh, so babies do get the, uh, the same uh, bugs, however they're colonized with them. And they don't cause the infection right away, mm -hmm. they cause the infection later on. Right, so this develops at, usually at home. At that point mom is home with baby, mom and dad are home, Correct. and this happens. Or if the baby's had an extended stay in the NICU, like right. a preterm baby or a full-term baby, Maybe that was a little sick, mm -hmm. they could still have that at, at the hospital. Wow. Uh, but a lot of times it's, it's um, uh, symptoms that they have at home. Now the other um, mechanism that the um, late onset sepsis could happen is what we call uh, horizontal transmission, mm -hmm. uh, which is basically uh, from uh, getting the infection from uh, the environment or the caregivers. Mm -hmm. uh, so basically, you know, babies um, could get those infections from their surroundings. Uh, for example, if we have a preterm baby in the NICU, um, they are subject to a lot of different procedures that we do, like peripheral, simple things like a peripheral IV or central line placement. And they placement. can get infected. Yes. So okay. um, once you break the uh, skin, the bacteria that is uh, usually present on the skin, mm -hmm. although it is there and doesn't cause any infection, once it gets to the bloodstream, it would right. cause a severe infection.